Today's best mix, 107.9, The Script and Break Even and Mark Dancer at 848. The mix flick chick, Kelly Gingery, is in the studio. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Mark. We're going to talk a little Valentine's Day. We are. Valentine's weekend, and you know, get, get I... Yeah, but it, uh, but I, easy for you I'm to say. I'm speechless, because <laughs> guess who wants to hang out with me on Valentine's Day? Tell me. My daughter, Heather. She's a junior at OSU. She's got, been going out with this great guy, Tony, for like, since they were... 10th grade or something. Aww. They're married. They're like married. So cute. So yeah, yeah, and he's awesome. And so we're all gonna, we're gonna double date Tracy and I and Heather. And I, I, I think maybe Heather wants to hang because I'm probably you know picking up the tab. But oh, but I'm fine. No, with that. I'm fine with that. That's so cute. <laughs> so we're gonna go see Valentine's Day. Yes. On Valentine's Day. I love it. At rave at Polaris. Oh, cool. Now, Perfect. You, you've already seen it. Yes, I have. Now I want you to be honest with uh, what you thought. It's, you know, I've seen the ads, yeah. and it looks cute. All-star cast. Oh, my gosh. Jamie Foxx, Jessica Alba. It's Julia got the Jakes. Like, yeah, yeah. Jessica, <laughs> Jennifer, Jessica, Jamie, Julia. Uh -huh. I'm like, what the heck? So, love. Uh, I, I keep wanting to call it Love Story for some reason, but Valentine's Day. Yes. Opening today. So, what do yeah. you think? I liked it. Okay. I did. You know what it is? It's You know what you're going to get. You see the trailer. That right. That's what you're going to get. So, I'm going to say up front, I liked it. I, I don't know if I loved it, mm -hmm. but it's what it's cute, and it's fun for right. Valentine's Day. Yeah, I'm not expecting to put this on my uh, top ten of no. all time list. You know. No, you know, it's not going to be one of those that you probably rewatch a lot, right. or every time it's on you watch, and that's okay. But it, you know what it reminds me of when I'm dating myself? Okay. That, that sounds kind of weird, I'm dating myself. <laughs> <laughs> on Valentine's Day, I'm dating myself. Do what myself. you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of the love boat. Do you remember the love uh, boat? You go, you sit home on Saturday night, and they got all these stars, right. and they're all these stars you know, and you—it's right. comfort food. You like sure. to see all these stars. So this, but it's almost an embarrassment of riches, so okay. to speak, because there are so many of them. I mean, gee, many Christmas right. that you can't get enough of each story. Okay, that's I what I wanted. That. I wanted less st less stars, okay. fewer stars, and more story. Okay. Yeah, that okay. makes sense. Yeah, because they've got to keep up with whatever Jamie yeah. Foxx's storyline is, exactly. and Jessica Biel's storyline, and Julia Roberts and Bradley Cooper. Right, and, and some Chris are more Frost. interesting than others. Uh -huh. It's and there's some cliches, and there's some. But you know what? There are a couple good twists, okay. a couple that I, I saw coming, but my daughter didn't, mm -hmm. and a couple funny things. And I'll tell you this: it makes you want to go to Valley's Total Fitness. Oh really? So, oh so my good god! Looking people in oh there. my god! No, McDreamy and McSteamy, okay? <laughs> and McSteamy is without a shirt most of the film, okay, uh, with a towel, and he looks like he's been working out twenty. And Jessica Biel, my gosh, she could break me in half. <laughs> she many Christmas. What is what? <laughs> I'm like, is, wow. She's rather stunning, yeah. And Ashton Kutcher is cute. It kind of oh, revolves around him. He's, okay. he's a florist, and he and Jennifer Garner are kind of. Oh, um, she, she's I know it's she's everywhere. Man. And Julia Roberts. Right. And there's a stay for the credits. Okay. I want people to stay for the credits because they show outtakes. Okay, cool. And they are funny okay all right so good valentine's day date yes movie, yes and, uh, you definitely. recommended this that right, i do well, i will uh, let you know what i think monday so i would love to hear he head to rave at polaris and then we're going to the cheesecake factory for dessert afterwards nice yeah okay uh a couple of more quick things to mention as far as movies go valentine's weekend and the classic and Seen it. I know. I, I need to turn in my card or something. <laughs> How can you be the mixed flick chick and not have seen Breakfast at Tiffany's? I know. I'm embarrassed. Now, why'd you tell everybody? I'm sorry. I've never I... seen it either. Uh, and <laughs> we'll that's showing to... at um, the, the Drexel. Right, Drexel. the Drexel and Bexley. Um, Breakfast and Tiffany's, both Saturday and Sunday at 4 30. And it's a classic romance, Audrey Hepburn. Right. Oh my gosh. I think it's iconic and everybody knows it, but not everybody's seen it. Well, you know? she, there's even a song. Oh. So, uh, the, uh, no, I'm thinking of the Breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry about that. Scratch that. <laughs> uh, okay, and then on the whole other end of the spectrum, uh -huh. uh, and you're thinking of taking this in, Studio 35. Uh huh. They call it beer tasting in a movie and they do it once a month okay. and for valentine's day because it falls on a sunday and they do it every sunday once clash of the titans that's how you spend your valentine's day a little clash <laughs> of the titans and then then i suggest running down the nationwide arena and taking in the tough guy rodeo oh! <laughs> that's a good double feature uh, yeah, i like yeah. that but cla but this thing at uh studio 35 it's 15 dollars a ticket and you get 10 beer tastings and we're not talking small little cups i mean they give you uh, taste 10 different beers from Rogue Brewery, I think, and then wow. you watch the movie. So it's from 4 to 6 is the beer tasting. The guy talks about beer. And then at 6 o'clock, you watch Clash, Clash of the Titans with Harry Hamlin, and he's in a toga most of the time. 
So if you like Harry Hamlin, 20 years ago, yeah. you know, or 30, it was like 1981, I think. It's a funny movie. It's campy. And the reason they think they picked this, other than counter-programming to Valentine's Day, is coming up in the, the spring, big, huge 3D remake of Clash of the Titans. Oh, okay. So uh, that's coming up with okay. the guy from Avatar. So that's why they did that. that. All right. Well, thank you very much, Kelly. You're welcome. Kelly Gingery, the Mixed Flick Chick. We right. podcast our reviews online, um, so you can check them out anytime at mymix1079.com. Here's Maroon 5. Awesome. Awesome. Yay! I kind of thought that that's what you were going to say about...